Hey everybody, this is GliderCat and it's time to play. Today we're going to try out the new demo for the crust. I believe this is going to post to Steam here on what? October 9th along with the uh, next fest. But let's jump in and try it out. I will go into new game and start the game. I'm going to go ahead and skip this uh, entry sequence. There's a bit of backstory there. Let's uh, let's get into it. Uh, I'm gonna just select the cargo pods. I think I have to click these and just drop them in here. Here they go. Let's see your little drones come rolling out of here. Construction, choose the required modules from the construction panel and position their holograms on the moon's surface. The drones will autonomously gather the necessary resources and commence building. All right, looks like they want us to build four solar panels. These guys, hmm, I'm just looking to see how these are linked up. From what I remember last time I played, I can see they're daisy chained. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah, I see, I see. So everything here is daisy chained and it meets up with these power poles over there. We want to get four more solar power panels put down, so let's do it. Director, place holograms of solar panels on the allocated sites. 
Our drones will take it from there. You'll see. Oh, they have a specific spot they want us to put them. All right. We'll do it. Okay, off go our drones to assemble those. Yeah, this is the demo I believe that's gonna be posted on Steam and we're in like a story mode. There is also gonna be a sandbox mode that isn't, uh, that I believe won't be quite as scripted. Um, but we get a bit of story here, so we'll follow through. I imagine we gotta wire these things up to the network. But we'll wait till they're they're they are built and they'll probably tell us to do that next. Objective uh, achieved. Look at that, they've actually built them. Not a bad start at all. Alice, can you hear me? Your drones did a good job, better than we expected. All the energy from these panels is yours, but now it's crucial to conserve it if you want to work during the night. To achieve that, you'll need batteries. It's all good, Robert. I completely understand you. We were already going to build batteries anyway. Director, he's correct. A lunar night lasts nearly 14 and a half Earth days in the absence of sunlight, and batteries are crucial for us. Construct four batteries next to the solar panels. All right. Imagine they'll have us wire these things up after we get the batteries down, maybe. Boom. Speed up time while these get built. Okay, and it says build charging station. Charging stations recharge your drones. Do that as well. Drop that here. Boom. Objective achieved. Your drones did a pretty good job, but the wiring tool is only operable by a human. Wire the panels and the batteries together. Next, you just need to power up the elevator, and you'll gain access to the underground level. Go to the communications panel and select the wiring tool. You can use right mouse button to quickly access the tool. Use shift for consecutive wiring. All right, let's try that. Just right click on this guy maybe, and then, oh, I see, here we go. Wires, I'm gonna just connect from this guy to you to you you to you it looks like we can daisy chain things and then we need to get over to yeah these solar panels um let's daisy chain those as well i'll right click to get off of that and we'll just kind of follow the pattern that they have here for us if i can get to it right click on you To get these two wired together, let's see what's going on. Oh, they can only take two connections each. All right, we'll just wire up to this guy. We should have. Oh, I know what we could have done. Let's see if we can undo this. Curious. Wire dismantle. I'm gonna try this out for the heck of it. Could have daisy chained them across this way, which looks like what they did. Our tool, you to you. Cool. A little bit cleaner. 
So we're all hooked up to the power network. Okay, hey, connect the elevator to the power grid. The elevator, I think we just saw that thing during the opening sequence. It's this guy right here, isn't it? This big monster. Back up. Uh, that one is hooked up. Where is it? Hmm, I'm missing something obvious, right? This little guy? Might be this guy's not on the network, so let's put him on there. Objective achieved. All right. Yeah, I thought that would have been a bigger looking module here. Elevator's not super huge. All right, switch to the underground level, just hit tab. You're here on the moon with a mission to extract raw regolith and turn it into valuable resources. It's time to get down to business. All right, tab will take us down beneath Objective the surface. Achieved. Okay, build a drone reconfiguration model module. Construction, this time we want mining, drone reconfiguration. We'll drop it where they want us. This is fairly on rails here for the demo, it looks like, or at least the initial sequence. Speed up time. I think these guys are going to pop in through the elevator and start building this for us. Now wire it to the elevator to power up the module. Uh, wire up the elevator to power up the module. All right. Grab wires. Here's a place. I'm going to put a power pole down, actually. Boom. And then go from the power pole to that. Um, this needs to be actually built. Are you guys going to do it? Yeah, here comes a guy with some resources, hopefully. Uh, they're looking at it. They don't want to build it. There they go. Could have just powered it directly, but I know we have limited connections from these things, so I figured let's get started with some power poles. Objective Pardon my achieved. curiosity, but how are you going to extract lunar regolith with robot carriers? I am far from a robotic expert, of course, but it seems like we have more questions than answers at this point. That's an excellent question, Robert, and I'd be delighted to answer it. However, I need to wrap up something first. Director, with the reconfiguration module, you can convert up to five worker drones to mining drones and vice versa. Convert four drones into mining drones and set an excavation zone for them. Uh, let's see here. Convert to mining drone. One, two, three, four. Now, let's have the drone excavate an area measuring 50 standard units. In the meantime, I'll have a chat with our curious Bob. All right, so down here at the bottom left, there's a menu here for excavating. Let's do it. We're to just going to mark some stuff. To start the excavation, you need to use the highlighting tool and mark areas for mining, and the digging drones will do the rest. Robert, to answer your question, our company has been providing repair and maintenance services for robotics and mining equipment for over 10 years. We were involved in the development and maintenance of technology for lunar mining along with the first industrial expeditions to the moon, even before the construction of the space elevator and the full-scale development of the moon by mankind. And I'm pleased to inform you, Robert, that by accumulating our vast experience, we have been able to develop and implement multifunctional drone technology that can be re-equipped for a variety of tasks. As a special bonus, I can include a coloring book set so you can brighten up your leisure time at work in silence. Okay, okay, Alice, I get the hint. You do your job, and I'll mind my own business. By the way, I'll grab a few coloring books as souvenirs for the kids. I'll be heading home in two weeks. Director, I understand that I can be difficult at times, but your Alice is also quite remarkable. She reminds me of my ex-wife. We're all still on the same channel, Robert. 
So what's up with those coloring books? I'll send them to your wife along with some flowers. She is not likely to see them from her husband. All right, we're busy excavating here. I'm going to speed up time so we can get to 50 units excavated. I'm sure I have more than that marked. Uh, it looks like they're just dumping the debris on the ground here. Objective achieved. Like we took a big hit from an asteroid or something. That's not good. That's not good at all. Let's see what they come up with. Robert, come in, Robert. Do you read me? According to the data, there are no survivors on the base, but I had to check. And I shouldn't have said anything about flowers. We're still receiving a signal from the drones. Our best bet is to try to repair the lift and rebuild the power supply circuit in order to save our equipment. It seems we have no other choice. We are in urgent need of solar panels and accumulators connected in one electrical circuit. With the available resources, direct the drones to construct the power supply modules, aiming to restore the previous setup prior to the explosion. Remember to connect the modules with wires. Based on the spread of the blast wave, it appears that the explosion took place on the far side of the moon. Fortunately, it occurred at a considerable distance from our mission. However, the strength of the explosion raises additional questions. So, the only response we get from the head of the scientific department and a renowned scientist is that the explosion was far away, and we don't know the cause? That's because scientists rely on established facts, rather than speculating based on unreliable data. They prefer to work with what is known, rather than jumping to hasty conclusions. I've heard that First Vice President Alice Vance maintains her composure and professionalism in all circumstances. Perhaps it's time for you to call your alter ego. Maybe I should, Professor. Tell me, prior to the moon launch, we were actively involved in a range of technologies aimed at advancing autonomous mining. Could you provide an update on the status of this project? We had a plan for an autonomous extraction plant, but it's currently just a project. Given the circumstances, implementation seems unlikely. Now we need to fix the elevator to regain access to the underground level. Select it and order the drones to start repairing it. All right, let's see what we got to do here. We got some missions on the, si on the uh, left side. It says they still want us to build four solar panels. Let's see if we can do it. I did click on one of these kind of destroyed ones. And it looks like we need research before we can actually take care of that or are able to even do it. Um, journal research tree is locked out. We can't do anything there. Let's see if we can at least get some solar panels going. Boom. I'm assuming we have some resources. Does it show us what we have? Uh, yeah, we have 50 steel, 55 silicon, and five smart concrete. What do these guys take? Looks like just a little bit of steel and a little bit of silicon. So we've got plenty for this. Let's, um, let's slap these down. Yeah, we want them near the elevator and all this. So we'll do basically the same thing that they showed us. Although these solar panels look smaller. Oh yeah, they gave us big ones before. These guys are little small solar panels. All right, well, we'll pop them down here anyway. Uh, kaboom, 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 kaboom. And let's get some batteries put down as well. This time, maybe I'll rotate them the way they had them. Boom, boom, boom. You can boom. change the game speed, select the required
record speed using the interface or hotkeys 1, 2, 3. This can speed up the process while building modules, or you can use the pause to plan your future base in a relaxed mode. All right. Okay, that's all that. Let's wire things up. You to you, whoops. You to you. And... Uh, we could just daisy chain these all together for now. And I don't know if this thing is broken. Okay, not enough resources for repair. All right, hopefully these guys, what are they gonna do? Okay, they're bringing stuff over from these little storage crates, it looks like. We'll get that thing, the elevator repaired, and then we just need to run power. I'm going to conserve resources and just daisy chain Objective this power achieved. this time. Okay, selected him one step ahead of you. Add. Director, Crust have made an official statement. I will put it on the screen. On this day, an unexpected asteroid impact occurred on the surface of the moon. We are currently working tirelessly to reestablish contact with lunar outposts and assess the situation. The number of casualties, if any, is being verified. As a result of the impact, four of the five lunar orbital stations are non-operational. This has caused disruptions in navigation and logistic systems. Be advised that all lunar-based activities and communications may experience delays or interruptions until further notice. We want to emphasize that Earth is not in any danger as a result of this event. We will continue working around the clock to address this unprecedented event and ensure the safety of all those affected. Do not spread unverified information as it may lead to unnecessary panic. All right. Okay, now we need to build a charging station again. Let's do that. Boom. Put it here. Yep. Uh, anywhere is probably fine. Although, I don't think we have many... <laughs> I don't think we have many connections available. We'll see what we can do. May need to build a power pole. In fact, let's just do it. Um, how about right there? While oh, they're doing that thing, I'm gonna... Get out of my way. Okay, charging station, connect the modules, fine. So, it turned out to be an asteroid after all. Professor, is that even a possibility? Collision of an asteroid with the moon, that's plausible. However, the possibility of not detecting an asteroid of that size and predicted trajectory in time raises another question. Anyway, we've received your request for research projects. Let's finish the current tasks first, and then we'll address it. That power pole still being built, I think. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we've got some initial power. We've got charging station. We've got batteries. Okay, reconfiguration module connected. The module survived being underground. Go to the low, lower level and connect it to the network. Okay, we'll do the same thing. I'm going to put a power pole down. And just right click for that, I think. Boom. And there's fine. You to you, and we should see our happy drones come down the elevator and build all this stuff like we did before. We can speed up time for that. Objective While achieved. lunar outposts showcase humanity's technological advancement, <clears throat> their longevity is limited without the presence of essential resources like steel and concrete. Now we do have electricity, but we need both steel and concrete to keep the modules running. Start by researching and building the pressing module, which enables the production of smart concrete from regolith. While not the most efficient method, we need to prioritize speed over optimization. Additionally, allocate a mining area to the digging drones to ensure a steady supply of raw materials for the pressing module. 
All right, very cool. And it looks like they unlocked our tech tree. So let's get on it. Regolith pressing. I guess we just press the button and this thing will start researching. Um, maybe it's just a time thing. Oh, the science department. Regolith pressing minus 200. Yeah, I'm not sure how the science generates and all that. We'll, we'll figure that out as we go. Can't remember. And then let's mine some regolith here again. And take a look at our drone situation and see if we even have mining drones. We may need to create some. Does it say? Chunks mined two of 20. The drones looking to see if there's somewhere telling us how many we actually have. Quest log. Like the PDA now Professor Wilfrey physics. will explain to you how to use our research projects, and I will come back to you later. Let's begin with the fundamentals, Director. Each unit of regolith contains its own percentage of valuable resources, and at the moment, you're primarily mining barren rock. To locate resource deposits, we require the ore detector. Open the research panel, select geological exploration, and we can proceed with our work. Once this research is completed, you'll gain the ability to construct the ore detector. We had prepared this research plan for the distant future, but we must adapt and work with it now. It may seem cynical, but considering the circumstances, our best course of action at the moment is to try to save the equipment that has miraculously survived. All right, let's see if we can get the pressing module put down at least. Um, okay, okay, okay. I see we got inputs and outputs here. Um, that's fine. Just like that. Let's get this thing powered. I'm probably going to go a little overkill on power poles. Up one here and then do that. That'll get powered up and they wanted us to go into the research tree, I think, and pick the next item, uh, which was prospecting. We'll get that going. Yeah, it takes 160 science. Not sure where our science is coming from. All right, now get the drones to build it. I wouldn't wait too long if I were you. And add a bulk resource storage to it, so your drones have a place to take the regolith they've mined. Keep in mind that the detector contains ultra-sensitive phased arrays, making it essential to construct it below the moon's surface. It is not designed to withstand lunar dust and solar radiation. To build an ore detector, unlock the geolo geologic prospecting to build the ore detector. I think we're still waiting for that research. But they wanted us to build a storage too. Uh, what do we got here? Bulk resource storage. Single resource storage. Um, maybe bulk? Research complete. This is going to be for our regolith. I believe. And then eventually we'll be able to belt those things together. All right. The research is complete. Prospecting. Underground extraction unlocks the extraction of rich regolith deposits. Let's uh, get that going just for the heck of it. Build an ore detector. Mining ore detector. I vaguely remember this from last time we played. Um, Anywhere. Maybe here. And let's get more ground marked for mining. Back out of that. Excavation mode. Where can I see the number of drones that I have? Uh, maybe four here. On the surface, I see two. Wondering if we should add more mining drones or just go with the two or three that we've got doing it now. All right, bug report. Oops. I think that's for reporting a bug on the game. Okay, not enough resources to build a module. Still going. Don't forget to wire it up. The ore detector uses battery power to every scan. The bigger the scanning area, the more power it requires. Select the ore detector and scan the regolith around it. 
You need to find the nearest iron vein and then excavate the regolith from it with mining drones. Using the detector consumes battery power, and the larger the scan area, the more power is consumed. Remember this and try not to leave your base without power. All right, select the ore detector. We gotta wait till this gets uh, our little power pole gets built. And scan the regolith around it. You need to find the nearest iron vein and then excavate the regolith from it with mining drones. Okay, and the detector uses power. The larger the scan area, the more power is consumed. Remember this, try not to leave your base without power. Let's look at the surface while this is getting built. Does this show us our power, kind of, what's saved up? It does. We also see it up here at the top of the screen. 218 and we're... 119 power batteries are increasing. We're getting a little bit of light on those tiny solar panels. Um, I'll be happy when we can actually salvage this stuff. All right, are you ready? Not yet. We need this built. Possible that I shouldn't be building these, right? Did I burn through all our iron? Did. Let's uh, reroute that power. That should solve that problem for now. Okay. Activate on, off, okay. It's got a constant draw of power, it looks like, and then we need to do our scan. Okay, this must be deconstructed. Let's do activate, and we have to pick kind of where we want this thing to scan. And you can see how much power it's going to consume at the bottom of that little pop-up off on the right. Let's just do something close. I imagine they've got something close for us. This looks, uh, this looks reasonable. Now we require a smelting furnace which employs the reduction method to convert the oxide into usable resources. Although we haven't tested this technology yet, theoretically it should work as intended. Theoretically? Professor, are you sure that it's worth taking the risk at this moment? Our whole enterprise is now one big risk. It can't be eliminated even if we do absolutely nothing. So yes, I'm quite certain about that. You guys are kind of snarky, right? <laughs> let's, um, let's get the mining at least towards where this iron is so they can be working on that. I think we're still pressing regolith, right? Is this guy actually working? Yeah, this is getting us smart concrete just for power is the only cost okay set your zones priority zone for excavation with a special tool mining drones will start digging the red zone first all right let's try that uh okay here's the prioritization tool i guess let's try um oh no that's brush size Priority zone on off. Okay. Um, I have to paint these one square at a time. Seems kind of strange. Let's try and get to you, the iron ore guys. Okay, we can turn this guy off, I think, to save electricity, right? And what we need is steel. I may have burned through too much steel by putting these power poles up. But we'll see. Looks like the drones are doing their thing. This guy... Waiting on titanium plates. Um, can I pause this construction? Let's dismantle this storage. We don't need it yet. Boom. And then we can make use of the resources for other things. In fact, I probably could have dismantled that power pole, too. We'll leave it. We can always dismantle it later. Okay, our miners are doing their thing. We need to build a smelting furnace. Let's see if we've got the ability to do that yet. Production, maybe? Logistics, research, life support, storages, mining, ore detector. Uh, maybe need to research that. Still going. 
Underground extraction. Oh yeah, they wanted me to do this smelting furnace first. Okay, here's our daily income of research points. So we're getting 200 daily just from the science department on Earth, right? So they're sending us research points. So these things that require whatever color that is, I'm colorblind. Middle science, uh, we're getting that for free. And it looks like that's going to get us pretty far down the tech tree, actually. This reprocessing is going to require some other science, blue or purple or whatever color that is. Um, but we can get pretty far just on this earth science that they're sending us. Um, I'm going to pick the smelter as soon as this is done, this underground extraction. I probably shouldn't have picked that. That's going to unlock the extractor. Unlocks the extracting of rich regolith deposits and allows us to build the extractor. Interesting. I wonder if that's like an automatic miner. All right, these guys made their way to the iron. Let's chew into the iron. Did I mark it? I did. Okay, more solid formation of rock. Oh, that's not even the iron, is it? Salt. All right, we need to... F uh, what is this? Basalt. I think we need iron, right? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are they telling me that is a okay, iron deposits? What is this display trying to tell me? Steel, Titan, silicon, aluminum, and water ore amount that many units. Sure. Conveyors, that's all building kind of stuff. Hmm. Looking to see where the actual iron is. I can't tell. Maybe this is it? Research complete. All right, research is complete. Let's get the research we're supposed to be researching done. Yeah, that looks different. That must be iron. And then this stuff is something different. Basalt. And that doesn't tell me what this is. Doesn't tell me what this is. Kind of strange. Uh, these are slightly different colors. This must be iron too, maybe? Alright, let's mine some more, whatever it is. Uh, brush size, that's why my brush was so small before. Yeah, those are look to be slightly different colors. Again, color stuff is a little rough on my eyes, but I can tell this is different than over here. All right, let's go ahead and fire up the speed here and see if we can't get that research done. 27%. Meanwhile, these guys keep making bricks. Uh, it's a slow process. We've only got 23 in storage, 24. We've got 12 iron from disassembling our storage unit that I had put down. This was meant to store... Oh! They store a lot of bulk resources of one type. Store a solid resource for 512 units. This is finished products, right? This is the one I wanted. I wanted to dump a bunch of regolith in here, but... Uh, we'll wait. We'll wait till we get the smelter. Where are we at with that? Uh, looks like we're done. Let's build it. I'm going to slow down speed. Um, that's the ore extractor. 
There's our smelting furnace. Iron. Where's that going to come from? Um, it's not going to come from this machine. So let's put this guy over here. Eventually, we're going to have a production line, I think. Maybe. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how many steps there's going to be in that production line. Let's put it there. These all get mined out. Uh, that's going to need power. Now select the recipe for producing steel in the smelting furnace. Uh, let's not push it. I'm going to wire this guy directly up until we actually have some more steel. Okay, choose a production. We want steel. Objective achieved. Okay, the smelting furnace always needs the oxides to start producing resources. Okay, assign drones to mine the vein. Excavate the regolith on the top of the iron vein. They go into the mining mode and assign drones to mine it. Okay. And mining drones are able to extract oxides directly from the vein. It's not the most efficient way, but we have to start right now. Order them to excavate the regolith on top, and then assign them to extract iron oxide from the vein. Enter excavation mode to be able to assign mining drone to mine the vein. Then set the number of drones that will mine oxide from the vein. I see. So this is the iron vein that we uncovered. It had regolith on top of it. Let's uh, try this. Hmm. Oh. So here's our deposit, and we're assigning mining drones right now to do it, I believe. The two mining drones. It's another one converted. And we should see this all fire up. Our power is getting kind of low. Okay, there's the drones. They're doing their thing. Now you have steel and smart concrete production, but it is extremely inefficient. To secure a foothold, we need to build a fully capable production chain. You do have a plan, don't you, Professor? And while they're digging, we need to research underground mining and build the extractor. Select the necessary research, and we will start working on it immediately. Okay, build an extractor on an iron vein. One step ahead of you. We got it. Uh, not that. Extractor. Oh, this thing's kind of big. Uh, the output's over there. Let's do... We're going to want to run a belt over to this guy, right? Got to think that's... Where we want it? You can't build here. You can't build here. Hmm. That'll do. Sky bricks doesn't take much steel. Do we have four steel? We do. And can I power this guy off the same post? How many connections do we get on this guy? Let's say five connections. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Let's do it. You over there. And then this guy's input. Port is right here. I think we'll be able to Generate belt these eventually. Extractor to the circuit by the shift button will help you to create a chain of electric poles. I assume the extractor has started mining operations. Now let's research the single regolith refinery to produce iron oxide. Prior to the expedition, we devised a three-stage processing chain to convert regolith into a refined resource. The first one is the extraction of the regolith itself from the deposits. It is done by the extractor and you already have one. The second stage involves the use of the single regolith refinery. 
This module utilizes a thermal reaction to extract the required oxides from the regolith while processing the remaining rock into slag. All right, good enough. Curious if uh, my mining drones got reassigned. Remember, we assigned some mining drones to mine the iron. Looks like they're off doing other things. Yeah, so those guys must have got reassigned. Let's research. Increase the regular lith yield. Conveyors, yes, we want conveyors. Durable walls, single regolith refinery. This is what they want us to do. Let's get that research and let's see if we can queue up. Looks like there's a queue here over on the left. Durable walls. That's going to take a different kind of science. That will too, but it looks like we're going to get conveyors. Kind of want conveyors. <laughs> let's get that queued up and then we'll do this last one that we're able to do with the research that we have. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and this is kind of a demo version. I'm not sure how far we'll be able to get. I see a little clock here too. I wonder if we're gonna run out of time. All right, unlock the refinery. We're researching it now and then build it. So let's speed up time. Director, unauthorized signal on line one. I think you might want to hear this. I'm putting it on the main screen. Director, my name is Clyde Draper, and I directly represent the interests of Crust. We are aware of your activity on the moon and that you are trying to keep your company and equipment. Perhaps this is where we can help each other. Your primary task will be to examine the nearby repeater. You are now operating beyond the confines of fair competition and industrial espionage regulations. Also, Crust authorizes you to use all found data and equipment without restriction. The data retrieved by the rover has the potential to accelerate your research efforts. Professor Wilfrey is well aware of what to do with it. Mr. Ratchet will handle the rover's operations accordingly. We will provide you with further updates as necessary, over and out. Ratchet, did you hear the news? Crust put you in charge of the new toy. Try not to wreck it. We won't be getting a second one. Not only have we almost lost all our equipment and communication, now we also have Crust to deal with. By the way, Wilfrey, it seems they haven't forgotten about you either. Anyway, Director, let's see what we got. Land the pod with the rover and we will proceed. All right, cool. This is going to be another aspect of the game. I think we have to tab up. Could be wrong. And do you, is there an indicator where they want us to land the pod? Cracker pod's ready for landing. I guess we can just drop this guy anywhere. It's fine. Let's put it near where things are actually alive and happening. Still, research is still going. We're at 54% for the regolith refinery. Wait a second, so there is nothing bothering you two? What makes you think we're even accepting this offer? And how about checking with me and the director? Alice, back to 15 years ago, Wilfrey and I were working for Crust. I was dusting off the first lunar rovers, and he was hanging out in the lab. Crust holds significant authority, having constructed the space elevator and maintaining control over all the moon. If Crust says they will work with us, I'm afraid we have no choice. Given the circumstances, it's actually in our favor. It appears that their operations on the moon are now dependent on us. This presents us with an opportunity to obtain everything we need by cooperating with Crust. The situation consists of the remnants of a miraculously surviving moon base, an undisclosed loss of life, and a world teetering on the brink of a humanitarian catastrophe. Do we truly consider this situation to be precisely in our favor? If there were any discernible advantage for us in refusing to cooperate with Crust, then I would understand the purpose of this conversation. However, as of now, I still failing to see it. Wilfrey is indeed an aging cynic, but his point holds true. If there's anything left to save, we'll need Crust's resources. Moreover, the desire to keep the company seems like a valid motive to push forward. Hmm, Horizon 6 augmented so far that only the hull is factory-made. This is top-notch equipment, a rarity even among Crust's inventory. Send it out of the base, see what we can find. All right. Lots of drama there. Let's uh, see what we can do. Send the rover outside the base. Click the rover and send it off the base by clicking the button in the rover interface. Okay, here's the rover interface. Leave the base. 
I think we're going to get another map view or something once this guy makes his way out of the immediate area. Our research is just about done. And we need to build the regolith refinery. We're at 99%. Let's head back down here. That's our Research extractor. Complete. Yeah, just got done. That's our extractor. This guy is smelting. I'm gonna take iron oxide. Are you gonna, what are you giving me? You're giving me just regolith. Regolith richness has 62% steel in it. Trust gave us the coordinates of the repeater near our base. We need to send the rover there and check the status of the repeater. All right, will do. So let's get that regolith uh, refinery down. Single regolith refinery. I'm guessing this needs to go in between. Something. It's going to be a little crowded back down here until we clear out more stuff. Um, but let's see if this will work. Yeah, we'll try it. We'll try it. We need more power. I'm going to put down another power pole. How are we doing on iron? We have nine left. This is going to chew up four of it. Uh, maybe I'll use up the last connection here on this pole. And we will, um... Put more poles down once we actually have some wire. Oh no. One, two, three, four. Thought it said we get five. Doesn't want to connect. Okay, online. We look at power poles down here. That's sustaining five connections. It's a lie. It's a lie. One, two, three, four. Try one more time. Wires. You. 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 Won't do it. I'm going to go. Oh, and I can't reach the other power pole either. Um, maybe I can daisy chain. Nope. They're going to make me put down another power pole. Oh, man. Regolith refinery, according to its name, can only get one type of oxide at a time. Be sure to select the iron oxide recipe to start production. Not happy about that. Do I have enough iron for another power pole? Looks like I do. Oh, there. These only take one. Drop this guy nearish by. Right there. And um, wait for that to build. So I think we can do the wires right now, actually. Um. Dismantle this one. You do you. That might be a little bug here. I think these are supposed to do five, but maybe they changed it to four and didn't update the description down here. Or I'm missing something obvious. Okay, that's all done. Let's go back up to the orbital level. It looks like we have to click X for that. Before the explosion, we had a satellite navigation system for lunar transport with the signal transmitted through repeaters. Now there is no signal, so we are operating almost blindly. Perhaps we can find a way to restore the system, at least to some extent. Now that we have the opportunity, the science department is eager to receive any data we uncover. With the right approach, it will help speed up our research efforts considerably. Great, Wilfrey. While you're enjoying your cozy lab as usual, I'm here sifting through scrap metal. It's a remote-controlled rover. The director runs it, and you're in an equally cozy dispatch center. But you still keep complaining. So much drama. <laughs> We're just trying to mine resources off the moon. All right, so I just sent the rover on its way. I just right-clicked on this question mark. I noticed that when I mouse over it, it says repeater. There's some other question marks here, and they tell us, they give us a hint of what's there, right? Demolish structure, a TCT, Farhad, I have no idea what that is, a wreckage and distress call, and then I imagine, uh, and if I recall correctly, we'll be able to uncover more points of interest uh, later on once we get a scanner or something. All right, select iron oxide. Let's get back down. I'm going to tab my way back down underground. We need to pick a recipe for this guy. 
Choose iron so oxide. Now that you have a functioning steel production line, we can enhance its efficiency by connecting the modules with a conveyor belt. One step ahead of you. We've got that researched right now. Examine the repeaters going. Tell you what, let's wrap this first episode here. Again, I'm playing the crust demo. This is going to be, I believe, available October 9th, 2023 in Steam for everybody to give it a try. Super cool game. I like it quite a bit. We're in kind of a story mode demo. It's, it's a lot of it is on rails, which I'm not a huge fan of, but um, it does serve its purpose for showing you the different game mechanics and things. Um, eventually, when we get through the demo, we might do another series that's in sandbox mode. I think I have access to a build that, um, that allows us to do sandbox. We'll see. We'll see how it, how it goes. Um, but if you do enjoy this content, please do give it a thumbs up. That'll let me know you want to see more. And yeah, I want to thank GladderCat patrons and channel members for their support of the GladderCat channel. That's what makes this content possible. If you'd like to help the Glider Cat channel survive and thrive. There's links to do so in the description of this video. And with that, I'll see you all in the next one.